welcome to the children's sermon. Today I'm out here in my yard and I'm with my fire pit. Yesterday we had a fire with my family and we hung out. Um, you may have something like this at your house or someplace you've been, a friend's house or a family member's house, or maybe you've sat around a fire while you've been camping or when you go on vacation. We like to sit around and tell stories and, and sometimes we sit around at night um, and maybe we like to tell scary stories because it can be fun to be scared and we talk about ghosts and things and this week in our gospel story the disciples thought they were seeing a ghost that they were surprised when Jesus showed up among them Jesus had died and he the disciples had learned that he had risen from the dead but they hadn't really gotten a chance to see him and so they were all together and Jesus shows up and they thought is this a ghost they didn't know who it was and Jesus says no I'm really here you can touch my hands you can see my feet I'm really here and the disciples they weren't quite sure is Jesus really here and so Jesus wanted them to know that everything was gonna be okay that he was there with them and so Jesus said give me a piece of fish that even if you don't believe what you see and you don't believe what you can feel let me tell you that I am really here and I am going to eat something and so the disciples weren't scared anymore. The disciples weren't afraid it was a ghost. The disciples knew that Jesus had risen. And Jesus told them, you have a very important job to do. You have to tell my story. And so just like we sit around campfires and we tell stories, Jesus invites us to go out into the world and tell his story that he has promised to be with us forever, that he has promised that we have nothing to fear, that he has promised that God loves us no matter what. That is the gift we have been given, and that is the story we have to share. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we give you thanks for the gift of your Son. Help us to tell his story to others. In his name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a great week.